Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to get swipe to seat functionality on the YouTube app for Android. Now, I recently covered an app called Touch Controls for YouTube that lets you swipe the screen to adjust brightness and volume while you're watching a YouTube video. But one feature you guys wanted that wasn't offered by that app was the ability to seek the video by swiping. Well, right on cue, developer Blueberry6401 released an exposed module that'll do just that, so I knew I had to cover this one. As far as requirements go, you'll need to have the exposed framework installed, and you'll also need to be running Lollipop or higher. Aside from that, just head to the download section in your exposed installer app and search YouTube Swipe to Seek, then tap the top result. From here, swipe over to the Versions tab, then hit the download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come up, so tap Install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. So tap this notification, then on the following screen, tick the box next to the newly installed module. From here, you'll need to reboot your phone to wrap things up, so let me take care of that real quick and I'll get right back with you. Okay, so when you get back up, no further setup is needed. Just start playing any YouTube video, and when you want to seek ahead, just swipe the video portion of your screen. When you're doing this, there's a little toast message that tells you how far you're seeking. You can also kind of see it with the scrubber at the bottom of the screen. Aside from that, there's one little bonus feature you should also know about. When you have the video in full screen mode, the swipe to seek gesture still works, but you also get a second gesture that lets you adjust volume. For this one, just swipe up or down on the video, and you'll see that the volume level changes while you're doing that. So it's a simple module with an easy install process, plus it provides a feature that you guys were looking for. But for the full breakdown, be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time, folks. But until then, happy gadget hacking.